Welcome back to the shop, guys. Uh, today, we're working on my 1990 SL. Uh, the top, it stopped working the other day. Um, I shouldn't say stopped working. I heard something explode. Uh, obviously, these tops are hydraulic. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna, you know, I took it all apart. I wanted to see what was going on. When I bought the car, the top didn't work, but it was actually an electrical fault. Um, I ended up replacing the top controller, but I just wanted to give you guys a little look of what's actually going on and how intricate this top system is. Um, it is electrically uh, powered, however, it is hydraulically uh, driven, I would say. It uses all these solenoids over here. Um, those actually are going to move all the certain pistons. There's one right there. Um, there's also another one underneath that, which is the problem. Um, so when you do this, you have the option to replace these pistons, which are insanely expensive. I believe you can find them for around $1,000 a piece. I, I, yes, that's right. That's ridiculous. I believe the car has uh, four, six, or eight or something like that. So I'm obviously gonna go the rebuild route. The problem I'm having is with that one, of course, the deepest one. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna to wanna to be getting to that, you're gonna be taking out all these interior pieces. Um, how you're gonna do that is there's gonna be two caps on the side and um, you pull those caps off and there's gonna be two Phillips screws. You're gonna pull those screws, flip these up like so, and then you can actually get those interior pieces out um, there over there. And yeah, so I'm just waiting on the seals right now. So hopefully I can have the SL back on the road soon. Um, I'll definitely be posting a video of how to rebuild that. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick look at uh, the car I kind of really don't talk about. It deserves to be loved. It's in good shape and used to belong to the Department of Defense.